Howdy, this is Tom Brazy, and I have uh, been doing Quiz Bowl for a number of years. Uh, prior to my retirement in 2010, I still have a website up that uh, lets me do some organization for Quiz Bowl tournaments, and it's been pretty useful in the past. So, uh, Bunny informed me that you were interested, perhaps, in looking at, at this thing. Um, this website uh, basically sets up a tournament, schedules it, and then publishes some some results from it and uh, could be pretty useful maybe. Um, the basic idea here is that you set up a tournament. Um, I'm not going to set up a new one. This is currently being used by the people in Nebraska and so uh, they're still using it but I'm just kind of looking at one of theirs. Uh, you, you, hit a, you hit a button here that says create a new tournament and uh, let's see from the coach page you add a tournament. You hit add a new tournament and you pick your year and then once you've picked your year then you you start filling out the, the web pages you fill out the host school the date what division it is um, these don't do much then um, these are not being used much either these are things that uh, I had ideas for but they haven't been using them I don't believe um, we have several formats for the tournament uh, single elimination 24 team 32 team 16 team and so forth and uh, once you pick that, um, then you go in and uh, you can you can register your coaches and your teams. There's just a table of uh, there's a table of stuff in here that you can use for that. Um, register the schools, and you do need the schools in this table somewhere. Notice these are all uh, these are all Nebraska schools, and, and uh, right now the years would be sort of mixed in here with those. I may have to rig this up so that they maybe don't mingle quite so easily or at least so we can pick out the Arizona schools in one list and the Nebraska schools in another. Um, uh, once once you've got those in you type in your your competitors and the coaches um, or whatever you need then you uh, you can set up an email list and it'll pull those emails out of your registrations and that helps to send stuff out to people perhaps. Um, so there's the you just copy and paste these from here into your uh, into your email program and just send your big emails. Um, then the tourney data, uh, that's what we were just in. Then they edit the teams. Basically, you you just pick teams here, and um, once you click on them here, they get added to the list over here. And so you can add a team or delete a team, and these come out of the uh, the school names that you've typed in back on the first one here where you do schools. So here's the schools list and then this this is pulled in here to you pull from that pool to make up the list of teams for the tournament. And so when you have two teams from one school you have an A and a B or an A and a B and a C or whatever you want to have. Okay, uh, then uh, prior to scheduling you set up the uh, typically this is for a, for a sort of a pool play setup uh, a typical setup is where you take your schools and this randomly distributes the teams against each other without any any seating or anything like that. And uh, you set up your, your rounds. Here we have 20 minute intervals for this tournament and eight rounds and then they're using six rooms. And so you have eight rounds and six rooms. You have 48 matches to schedule. And um, the scheduler goes here and the scheduler basically you can schedule two tournaments together which often happens when you have a JV and a, and a varsity and you want to keep those two uh, only playing each other. You can schedule the two together in the same building and it will just use whatever rooms are available. Um, then it produces this. Basically the scheduling takes like one second and then it produces a table of contests and then you can format these things and uh, print format and so it goes here and there's your there's your printout that shows the the morning rounds here's the the round here's for each team so Bellevue East team A has rounds at 9 20 9 40 10 20 and 11 20 and here's the room numbers and there's the opponents and so then every team then has a a short list of the the contests that they have for the morning rounds and then once that's done uh, you get you can you can edit the scores as they come in and so here's all the scores that came in and uh, they're all done here uh, you see the, here's the matches and you just type in the scores the winner and the losers scores from the matches and uh, then it, it compiles a win-loss record and a percentage and then an average score and an opponent score and you just use this table 
to seed a single elimination tournament in the afternoon. And uh, then basically what you do then is you set up, uh, gee, let's see, they didn't use it here. Looks to me like they, they didn't assign this to a uh, to an afternoon tournament. But basically you you uh, set up rooms and, and, and times for the afternoon and it will uh, actually produce brackets for you. Um, so uh, depending on who's using this, they may only use it for this and then just use a big wall chart for their tournament in the afternoon. Uh, the tournaments then are pretty predictable. You, you have a certain number of teams. Uh, you'll use a a 16 or a 24 or a 32 team bracket and once you have the morning rounds done then the afternoons are just follow the brackets and you can use the, use the program or not for those that's pretty easy once you get to there setting one of these up where you have the uh, brackets um, where you have the the randomized seating that it can be kind of kind of tedious uh, in any case let's go back let me go back a couple of couple of years and look at a tournament perhaps where we had some uh, some afternoon stuff here. Let's go to oh maybe 2009. I don't remember when I was more involved in this. And maybe um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's look at that one. All right. Did we have some afternoon stuff? Yeah. There's my afternoon rooms and times. There's my afternoon matches and there's my afternoon brackets and so just just wanted to show you that it'll actually produce the brackets for you at the end that's a pretty difficult thing to do in HTML uh, to get it to produce this but actually that's all we used there was HTML and so it has an enter scores field here for the tournament and it has a a bracket thing for the output and so you can actually send people the results from here I think there's a printer friendly version of this and then this can be put right on a sheet of paper and sent out to people and you don't have to write anything up so um, that's pretty much it that's a quick tour of the uh, of the quiz bowl uh, the quiz bowl thing that we do here um, and if you uh, I could do some more work on that and uh, perhaps move that to a site that's uh, separate or a database that's a little separate from the others some such thing uh, we'll figure something out for that so there you go, and uh, tell Bunny hi, and or hi Bunny, and how's everything going? We'll talk to you later. Bye.